gas. Yeah, or on the long rod. On the long pole. I'm single poling here today. I'm doing a little bit of both, but uh, trying to find crappy, and crappy are scattered. It's after the spawn. So I'm running a cove here. It's kind of what you do after the spawn. Got a new bait too. Well, that's a nice crappy. That's a nice crappy. He's a good lab mentor. All right. Fun size. Bam. Let's see if we can find another one. Well, that's what I'm doing here. See, I'm in a cove. I've been in this cove before. If y'all recognize it on any of the other videos. And uh, like I said, crappy are hard to find. I bass fished yesterday and cut my eye open for some crappy. And as I fished, and I didn't see any. And I covered a lot of ground. A lot of treetops, a lot of stuff. They're scattered. And what they're doing, this is a big bay right here in the back of a cove. You can see back here the grasses. And when the back of lily pads back there, I'm in 10 feet of water. And I can show you on my other death finder here. They're scattered and they're just roaming around. There's a couple right there on the Right here, I can see a couple. But that's what they're doing. Alright guys, well, the next cast, I got another one. I'll show you. Uh -oh, I got the line. He's not as big. We'll pick him up. Now, I'm using a... I'm using a different bait. Let me go. I'm, I could do this with a regular rod. I wouldn't need a long rod. Okay, he's about nine, ten inches. All right, guys, can you see it's a stump there? That's why this caught the two crappy from. It's in about ten foot of water. I'm looking around left and right, see if there's anything else around here. There's another stump. That's why I caught the two from. And let's see, they might have moved. It looks like it's still a couple there. They was hanging separated from the stump. I could see them. Sometimes once you catch a couple, um, they move, they go on. But we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna leave the camera run there to see if I'm gonna pitch my jig over there. But the boat's twisting some cause the uh, cause the wind's blowing a little bit. And I got my spot lock on, so it could move me a little bit away from it. Let's see if we can see my there's my jig falling. I didn't throw long enough, did I? Notice that was short. There's my jig. I gotta open the jig too, so I can't let it get in that stump. I don't have a weed guard on it. This is a 1 16th. This is that little short jig I was showing y'all in another video. I'll share it with you too. Right, I'm right there at the stump. I'm coming up. You see the fish come up out of the stump right there? He didn't get it. There's my jig coming past it there now. See the fish on top of the stump now. Let's try them again. There was about four there when I caught the one. And then uh, I threw back and the and the next cast, he, he hit me because they was fired up. But uh, sometimes after that, they'll move away from it for a little bit. All right, come my jig. See him moving around? See him coming there now? You can see him moving. See him my jig right there. Now you see one moving right at 30 foot. There you can see him. There's one right up my jig at under 20. Got him. Got him. Coming towards you. He's at 15. All right, guys, here he comes. People ask me all the time, how would a live scope help you? Would it help me? I had a, if y'all can't see him, so it's up there. Those guys in that boat, just, we just talked about that. They were bass fishing, and one of them said he had a live scope. Uh, I'm gonna pick him up. I got a heavier line. Well, that's a nice crappy. Great day. I thought he was going to be a baby by the size of that live scope. So I'm saying sometimes it's hard to tell when you got a big stump or something. It makes the crappy look smaller. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice crappy. Y'all want to measure him? Let me get my rod out of my way. Right. Let's see what he is. I'm just going to put him, put his nose against it right there. Okay, guys, he's look here. He's almost 13, guys. He's almost 13. That's a nice crap here. I figured, I was going to say he was 12, so he's almost 13. Um, I'm using this Klein's bait. First time I ever used it, guys. Put one on this morning. First time I ever put one on. Opened the bag. I had them for a while. I don't know where I bought them. I think I bought them at Bass Pro Shop. 
But y'all know I buy baits and just try them out and make a video with them. This is kind of a chartreuse. It's black. It's got a chartreuse tail. It's cloudy today, as y'all can see. They're calling for rain this evening. Calling for, actually calling for a severe thunderstorm with hail. So I thought I'd get out this morning and try to make a video. But I figured to being cloudy today, this would be good. He has the green in it. has chartreuse tail. has the black. On dark days when it's cloudy, chartreuse is good. Use a little darker colors, too. Let's see if we can catch another one. No, that's three off of that one stump, guys. All right, guys. I hope, hope it comes out good. There's a fish right there. There are see once more on the scope. He's at 30 feet. There he is. That's what I'm talking about, a fish by themselves. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what it is. It's a decent-sized fish. But <laughs> I have threw at those before and caught them, and they're crappy. It could be small bass. But, hey, I thought I'd pitch at them. So a lot of them are crappy when I catch. There's another one right here. Right, guys, I'm doing the same place. I'm just running, running in circles, like I said. I'm out a little further, and the crappy are on the move. They remind me like, well, the way they was uh, acting. They remind me the way they was acting back in the... Uh, back in spring you know when the water was really cold it's 59 now they're acting like it was when it was 50 48 to 52 you know where they just roam open water that's what they're doing now, he's a baby he's about nine inches this hook i got it's a 116 but see how short the thing is it's maybe a guy we got so it's called a short shank and i like that for when i'm pitching the long pole uh it's got a short hook i can put a small bait on it for the size of the weight it's got a good hook. It's a, like I say, it's a Gamagatso. It's a good hook. And so when they grab it, you, you got him, you know? Gosh, guys, this doesn't quite feel like a crappy. I seen four or five fish out there and I threw at them. Y'all can see it started raining. Yeah, it's a crappy. Good gosh. There was four fish, and to be honest with you, they looked pretty big. And I thought, well, I'm going to pitch out there. I'm just. Like I said now, roaming. I'm roaming and pitching. I'm using a long rod because I got a 16th ounce head on it. And uh, I'm just pitching it out like 20, 20 30 feet. Uh, it just, I feel like it's more comfortable than casting all the time. It's an underhand pitching it. Have y'all ever done that before? It works pretty good. Y'all can see it's trying to rain on me. That's a nice crapper there too, guys. He's a good 12 incher. Maybe 13, maybe 12 and a half probably. Guys, got another one. There was two fish over here next to this bank moving toward me, and I pissed over there, and they didn't pay any attention to it, and I pissed back. I said, I'm going to try it one more time. One of them followed at me. And I said, well, I'm going to try it one more time. So I pissed back for the third time, and this one followed me to the, close to the boat, and then he hit. You know, usually, I can't reach the line. There it is. Usually, if they follow you to the boat, that's the end of it. They usually don't always... You know, kind of go like, ah, there's a boat. He's about 11 inches, maybe 11 and a half. Now he looks like he's either fat or he's done lady's eggs. I don't know. I think most of them done spawn it, guys. That's why they're out here roaming around this open water. Guys, down the middle of the rain's getting up a little bit. I hope my raincoat ain't getting in y'all's way. For the camera, I had to put my raincoat on. Gosh, he acts like he's a pig. I hope he's big as he acts. This old 10-foot rod, too, makes him feel big. Cause it's, you see how much of bow's out there? Yeah, he's acting like he's a monster. Great time. Well, he's decent. Yeah, the old tip's really flimsy out there. It makes him feel really big. But, hey, that's the fun part, right? He's not that big. That's what the fun part is. Why right? you want him to feel big? Guys, you know, this is the first time I fished in the rain. Maybe the second time this year. Cause it usually starts raining. I go home, I don't fish, because I live on the lake, guys. <laughs> so I don't have to fish in the rain. My problem is I'm still working, and sometimes, some of the pretty days, I'm working. He's not a monster. He's about nine inches. It's a nice crappy, though. He might be nine and a half. Y'all want to check him? Let's see how close, let's see how close Dennis is to guessing. All right, no, nose against the end up here. Oh, gosh, Dennis ain't very good guessing today. My guesser ain't very good. Look here, guys. He's, uh, I got a nose up here. I said he was 9, 10 inches. He's, uh, he's 11 and a half. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show y'all what I'm doing. You can see here on this depth finder, the 
there's something there at 35 feet. There's a couple spots. Now you can underhand pitch this thing or you can overhand pitch it. I'm 30 feet out with this handle. The angle of this handle. So 35 feet. Pitch it like that. Now I lost the fish, the boat's moving. I lost my jig, that's fine. I don't see it on my uh, live scope. What I'm doing is gonna reel it slowly. Well, I just had a bite. There he is, right there. There you go. See, I seen a group of fish out there. I wasn't sure what they are. Look, I was about four, four of them. I pitched it in their area. I didn't see my jig, but I knew it was in the area. You don't have to see your jig all the time. You know? That's where the live scope helps you. It's a crappy. I, I've been catching some white perch too now, guys. I've caught quite a few white perch. But uh, that's a nice crappy. Come here. Again, I'm using this. I'm using this bait. It's the first time I ever used it. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Didn't realize how big he was till he laid down on the deck. <laughs> Look at that one, guys. <laughs> oh, she done spawned it out. Again, I like this head. The reason I'm using this long rod, somebody's probably wondering, and I got that Gamagatso head on it, which is a nice one. It's got a good hook on it. I'm just underhand pitching, like I showed you. It makes it easy. I could underhand pitch. I could use one of these rods and do it. But I got a 16 ounce head, and I got a quality head on there. And like I said, I'm just underhand pitching it. And with a heavier head and that longer rod, I think I can control the depth of the jig better. That's a nice crap. I know y'all want to measure him. All right, let me lay him down here. I'm gonna lay him down this time. There you go, guys. He's thir he's 13 and a quarter. All right, he's thick though, isn't he? Look how thick he is. <laughs> it's a nice crappy, guys. All right. Well, one thing about fishing in the rain, guys, your line likes to stick to your reel. <laughs> likes to stick to your rod, doesn't it? My rod, my line's a little wet, guys. It's been raining. All right. Just need to pitch it out here. See, they're up under the boat on me now. There's my bait. See, my bait's behind them. I'm just letting the boat drift with the... Why well, do like to get up under the boat? I reckon shade. And, uh, you know, here's, see my bait? So I can't catch it up with them because they're under the boat. I don't know if that makes sense to y'all. There's one came out there and checked it out. And he, oh, he got it and I messed him. See him, see him come. Ah, right. oh, he got it again and I messed him. I done messed that one twice. Now another one's coming up after him. See him coming up after? Now he's got it. I got him that time. See him running around there? <laughs> All right. He come off. All right, guys. I'm trying to show y'all on the live scope. i using the... So this head got a hold of him. I figured it was crappy where they were smacking at it. And it was decent sized crappy. Now, on that little rod, um, it's got a small hook on it, and they were smacking, and they wasn't getting the hook. And I wouldn't hook this, this the hook just wasn't getting in them. This this hook here's something else. They make nine and a half. Y'all can see how big that hook is, and it's a gamble got so it's a little short called a short shank. It it done the job. <laughs> There's a couple fish on a stick up right there, guys. See my bait's coming at it right now. They're at 25 feet. Now there's my bait come past it. If you watch, you'll see them move. There they are. See them moving? Some of them followed me out, didn't they? All right, one of them hit me. I messed him. I turned him. One of them hit me and I turned him. I want to catch a couple of them before I, before I uh, school them. Because my bait's coming back down at 25 foot right in front of one of them there. Bait's coming right to them. Looks like two little stick ups, a little tree tops. I don't want them way up in the bank. It can't be. You have to be a man made something put there. See them follow me at 15 foot. All right, guys, trying to get my death finders, my ca camera to come on. I put a new battery in and I couldn't get to come on. This is off that stick up I just showed y'all. It's like two stick ups. And I sent them a long ways from the bank here, guys. And it looks like two tree limbs coming up. So I think somebody put it there. I'll pick him up. I believe this is a white crappie. 
Guys, we don't catch many white crappie here. I, I caught a two I know of last year, maybe three. You see his bars? He's a baby though. There's two fish out there at 25 feet. Got my jig coming at them. I don't know what they are. They're pretty big for crappie, but we'll see what happens. All right, my jig's amongst them. Unless it's more than two, sometimes that's what happens. Well, right, they're paying attention to my jig. I got one of them. See him coming? Hopefully, guys, we got that on the live scope. Fish coming out. He came up right after after. Said just scattered stumps and stuff is all it is. He acts like he's a horse. Like this rod right here, guys, has got a soft tip, which <laughs> makes it fun. And these crappy are fighting good. The water's 59. You know, and this water's up to about, I don't know, 65 before it gets hot. Crappy fight much better, I think. All right, so I'm still using this jock jig rod. I went back to that casting rod. I caught a white perch, but I'm having trouble hooking them on it. Again, they grab this one. That hook right there. <laughs> it's going to get them, in it? He's a nice one. That last one was, what, 13-something? Y'all want me to guess him? I know, don't you? I'm going to say he's pushing 14. All right? That means he's, he's going to be in that area of 13 and a half to 14. That's what I might guess. 13 all right guys he's 13 and a half oh, he's gonna beat me. He's gonna beat me. okay oh, you think you're that big do you all right guys we hit my spot like i got that one oh yeah okay Ooh. Whoa, boy, I said they look too big to be crappy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> he put the hammer on me. Actually, he's a monster. Come on, big boy, be a monster. I like catching those big ones. <laughs> All right, come on. I feel you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, he is a nice one. Come on. Oh, come on in here. Come to daddy. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. <laughs> Gay day, you gotta love it. Guys, I haven't caught a really, well, I usually catch at least a 14 inch every video, but seems like anyway. Uh, gotta love catching them. A bit crappy. I'm gonna tell you something. This hook is, love this hook. Look here, it's got him double hooked here. Gotta come through like that. On a jig rod, you can't beat it. Look at that one. <laughs> All right, guesses, guesses, guys. Give my hand to compare you. How long you think he is? I bet he's 14. I'll bet you he's at least 14. He's in that area. He's gonna be in that area, of maybe, maybe a touch longer. But he's gonna be in the area of 14. All right, guys. He's 13, and I'd say I'd say he was 13 and 15 sixteenths. <laughs> he's right at 11, right at 14. I think he was in that area. It's a nice fish. Guys, I found another one. Wow, wow! You're not that big. Come on. Are you that big? Like I said, guys, this old little 10-foot rod's got a, it's got a lot of tip to it. It makes them feel big anyway. It makes them feel big. Well, he's a decent crappy. Well, I have to say, he didn't look that big even coming through the water, but he's a nice crappy, isn't he? Isn't that a nice one? He's a good 12-incher or something in that area. <laughs> old hook stuck on him. Y'all want to check him, too? He's a nice one. I ain't caught no 15s today. Like I say, I think if one, we had one that was, what, 14, right at 14. He was just, behave yourself. All right, guys, look at He's 12 and 3 quarter. 12 and 3 quarter. See, I said he was a good 12 incher. Hey, folks, we had a fun morning. Okay, it's trying to rain today. <laughs> it rained on me one time. 
it's supposed to rain tonight, bad storms tonight, so I'd love to get here this morning. I was using this 10 foot rod mostly. I did catch a white perch on another rod, but this one was working good because the fish were moving a lot, and the fish that wasn't moving were setting up on stumps and stuff. I could catch them off of a stump if it was three or four on it. As soon as I caught one or two off of it, they're gone and back moving again. So they're hunting shads, what they're doing. And when they're doing that, you need a heavier head. And this is a 1 16th, but look how short this hook is. So short shank hook, hook by Guy Magazzo. Got a nice, good, big hook on it. That's what was helping me too. That bait's what I was doing. <laughs> what I was going to do the video about today was this bait. Okay, first time I ever used, today's the first time I ever put one on. It's by Kleins, okay? And uh, you know what I said I bought them? I bought these at the local bait shop, guys. They were on sale for 99 cent. And I bought a couple colors in them. So we'll do a couple of reviews on those. Just try the different colors. But the reason I used this one today was the color fit. It's called Shark Tooth Shad. Two inch triple threat shad. And that's what made it good was that shark shoes tail. It's been a little bit. I wouldn't hurt heard it. But it's that body. Beans, it's cloudy today. That's why I picked these up when I left my house. I thought, take those with you. That make it be a good day for them. Y'all know anytime it's cloudy, shark trues is a good color, right? And it has a black back that helps it too when it's dark and cloudy. And the water got a little stain to it. It's not real stained, okay? Hope that helps you guys. I showed you in the video what I was doing. I was looking for stumps and trash. This is after spawn. Most of the crap here have already spawned and the water is 59. We've been up to 65. It's went back down this cold front this week in rain. And what I was doing was looking for stumps and cover. And I just underhand long pitch. Now you got a 10 foot rod, if you put 10 foot line out, you can get an easy pitch to 25, 30 foot, see? That's what I was doing. I was pitching to them. And for the 16th ounce weight, it would drop pretty fast. I could see it easily too on my fish finder being a heavier weight. It's just blinking more, got the more, more color to it. And as I brought it past the stumps, they'd, I could, they'd come out and hit it. Sometimes I wouldn't see any crappy on the stumps, but I could bring that jig past it, two or three would roll up. I tried to show you all that on the live scope. I don't know how that's going to come out. I'm doing all this on the lake. When I get to my studio, sometimes, guys, sometimes my camera that's on the live scope, I get so much glare sometimes and stuff that I can't use a lot of it. I'm trying to improve that, so y'all bear with me. But look, I appreciate y'all subscribing. Appreciate you watching. I'm trying to do things like this to help you, give you some ideas. And I said this before, you got to build confidence up in certain baits. When you see somebody fish with the bait and catch fish with it, you're ready to use it. I said this example one other time. I remember fishing with a guy years ago, and he had a Yakimoto Senko on. And I looked at that thing, because I can't believe he's throwing that. He caught two or three fish. I think I was pitching a lizard. It was in the spring. And, you know, lizards were big guys years ago. And I was throwing like a six-inch lizard. And after I see him catch a few fish, the next time I walked into the local bait shop, I bought me a bag of them. And it's history, guys. I've caught a pile of fish on them. I would have never bought a bag until I seen somebody catch a fish on them on TV or somewhere, right? Hey guys, hope it helps you. My name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country. See you next time, right here.